Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Petey Prowlock. Newcastle have drawn 2 2 to Queen's Park Rangers. Fucking hell. What the f went wrong the night? QPR were playing very well a lot of the time into the game. It's big technically in the first half, scoring just before half time. We fell asleep a lot of the time, giving balls away. Not clearing balls away, what should be cleared first time, and then. But not just that, it also happens when you don't strengthen in the, the team in the January uh, market as well, when you know there's going to be a lot of need to be strength needed. What you cast, what if that's what Newcastle are do, good at doing in the transfer market. Fucking up badly. Fucking up in the transfer market. Leaving it far too late. Like, especially when we've got players out injured. We need players for creativity, because we've only got one for the midfielder at the minute. And especially, we need players when players are going out on African combinations duty. That is what happens. You, that's what happens a lot of the time. Well, we're made to pay for it a lot of the time. The defence was fucking rotten the night. Bloody hell. Lesez had a horrendous game, in my opinion. He was giving the ball away. He was hesitating to clear balls. And he's the captain of our club. My God, that was not a captain's performance the night by that lad. Fucking hell. Perez, fucking hell, why this? I fed up of being watching him this season. Giving the ball away, he could have missing chances, putting use wasteful. But that, what he was doing the night, he had a great chance, um, which save, but he could have squared that to Richie, and he plays one of the most ridiculous high crosses in, uh, when he's already in the box, and there's anyone fucking there to get on the fucking end of it. My God, he was horrendous the night as well. Left it far too late to take him off. He did take Daryl Murphy. Didn't really get much in the game as well. I thought Sammy Amiobi Am Am looked all right when he came on, to be fair. So, yeah, that's what happened. We were shocking a lot of the time, a lot of possession ball. But there was also things that I wasn't happy at QBR. I thought they were lucky to have 11 men on the pitch. A couple of tackles in particularly I saw were reds at least the one that looked on Matt Ritchie that looked like a leg break of that especially and that little and that little oh I don't want to see Nick that little Lynn that Lynch whoever you call him went and make a foul but he went and stamped on the back of Sammy Amiobi that was disgraceful that is a straight red card all day anything to go using studs full on is red card offence all day I'm no one surprised and even Yedlin was going at the referee Pretend like you had a pair of glasses, you need to get a pretty spec savers. But my god, there was a lot of stuff that went wrong the night. Even though we scored two goals, we got a point. But QPR, we put six past these away in September. We've come out with a draw. Our waveform's been better this season. We were criticised how shocking our waveform was last season when we were in the Premier League. Well, our waveform's been better this season. My god, every time we've these home our home games which we should be putting a pen up here or winning at least is when like we, we take the lead and then we're going to sit back and let the opposition come in and we did do that we absolutely did that uh, really in the first half but we got the first early goal Gufran gets the ball on the left he then plays through to Hayden gets into the box Hayden plays a little cross in they cleared the head out but John Joe Shelby what a fucking strike that was 30 on second eight seconds into the game that was great finish my word but and then after that we're letting QPR into the game straight away they're having chances Darlow saves for their goal a great ball that gets played to Washington he's got time to, time to take a touch to turn around as well buries it in and that in an open goal as well my god and QPR deserved to be on level you actually were unlucky not to be in the lead as well my god the time but the defense was horrendous tonight Clark well I thought well Clark maybe didn't have his best game but Lascelles because Clark had to probably bail Lascelles out a lot of the time but Lascelles my god that was not that was that was that was an amateur performance that night really amateur performance but and then um, 
straight in the second half. Lascelles again, hesitating whether to clear the ball straight away when you've got a man who's coming right in front of you. Leaves it late. But we'll get the we'll get the second goal. It was good play between uh, Gufran and Yedlin. Yedlin then plays the ball to Hayden again. Great little cross chip in. And Richie got his head over. But Newcastle were can take in control up to that time. And had chances to kill the game off. As I said, Perez, what was he thinking of the night? Oh, he's got to be dropped next game. Oh, my God. Perez looked absolutely horrendous. The, him and Lascelles, I thought, were the worst two of the night. Hayden didn't have a, didn't really look great tonight. I don't think he had a good game, but he, he put in two assists. My God. And then this this was probably a little bit unlucky. Lawalawa whips the ball in. Clock, Darlow's trying to come up, but Clock gets a head on him to try and clear it. But it comes off like the top of his head. Into the back of the net. It's an own goal and it's 2-2. Coming right into stoppage time. But Gufran had a chance to kill the game off. Good save from the keeper. He, he, he got the man of the match. He played well. He saved a couple of good chances. Diarmi just couldn't get on the end of a rebound. But. When you know you need players. You need to know the, uh, the team needs strengthened. Especially at that time. We didn't have not done it. Trying to get last minute, trying to do out things on the last day of the transfer window. Is as soon as I say, when you start transfer window open, look into it now. Look who you think you who you need, what is needed in that side. Especially what, not just because players are going away, because we are lacking something. The only creative player we've got in the midfield is John Joe Shelby. Sometimes Richie goes missing a lot of the time. A lot like a lot of those players went missing when John Joe Shelby was suspended. Shelby also had a kick out at someone. Hope there's not going to be anything for that because if we lose him again, we're done. I think we'll be done. We're going to fuck this promotion up, I think. We've got Steve McLaren's Derby on Saturday. They're playing well. Um, this could be a worry this like You don't know where this game could go. At least. Because McLaren's certainly getting Derby playing well we've just chucked away a performance tonight we've chucked <sighs> so annoying isn't it oh, defense not being up to scratch tonight finishing chances putting crosses who aren't even finding people but as i said coming back which should have should have seen the two red cards. How were they not given? As I said, the one on Richie looked in leg break at least. But the stampman was absolutely out of order. Should have been spotted. How did that not get spotted by the linesman? He was right close to him anyway. So not just that. We were shite the night. The linesman and the ref shite as well. Then put a couple of dirty tackles in. We. What went wrong the night? Let us know what you think. I can't say any more. Subscribe for more videos. I'd so much appreciate it. Give us a like, comment, and I'll see you all later. Take care of yourselves. What the fuck was that tonight? What the fuck happened? Point blue with blue top spot to go back to top spot. <sighs> see you. <laughs>